Kitchen of Diamonds with me, Sabrina Victoria, as your host. Today I am coming to you inspired by a message through Twitter regarding when to know if a passion is a passion worth continuing or when to know when it's time to give up on it. Let's jump right in. She has no business giving advice because all the so-called social norms are against her. But she's here in your world to give her slightly biased, in-your-face opinion on how she thinks you could human better. Follow now to catch all her inspirational words on life, business, love, and learning to empower yourself. And now, your host, Sabrina Victoria. Hello, my diamonds. It is January 30th, 11 o'clock at night, 31st podcast. Today was amazing for me. Not the most productive, um, but I did get everything done that I needed to get done. Plus, I got to spend a ton of quality time with my son today, um, which to me is basically everything. So it was an amazing day for me. I hope that your day was as fantastic as mine was. And if it wasn't, then you need to start planning your day a tad bit better, writing stuff down. This way you are actually guiding your life to where you want it to go. Not having your life tell you how it's going to go. You got to take control of your life. So today I'm coming at you with a uh, message on my Twitter. Um, It is from a male, and I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying names, so I'm not going to say the name again, but this is what he says. He says, I am a photographer. Well, not really. I say I am a photographer. I have only been paid a handful of times, and my pictures were not nearly as good as other photographers. I have been interested in photography for my whole life, but I am so intimidated by these individuals that are so much better than me. I am starting to second guess myself and think that maybe it's not my thing because I don't feel as if I will ever be as good as them. They forgot as. How do I know that the passion you say is deep within me is just a dream And not something I should actually be pursuing to actually sustain my income and my life. This is an amazing question because I feel as if this is probably something that a lot of people are dealing with. They have a passion, they have a desire, but they have no idea how to make money doing what they love. Therefore, they end up in a dead-end job that they hate with a boss they cannot stand and um, wind up being miserable their entire life. Um, So listen, I am not, I have never seen your photography. I have no idea, um, you know, if you're any good or not, or maybe you're just incredibly critical of yourself. I will say I have seen some amazing photographers in my time. One of my best friends, or I guess my best friend, has an amazing eye. She's so creative. I wish I had that gene. I am in no way artsy (laughs) like she is. Um, It's definitely a talent that a lot of people um, admire. Um, so I give you credit for, I mean, I'm assuming if people have, a few people have paid you that they have seen your work and I'm assuming that they liked it. So that right there is a positive. Um, even if it was your mom or your sister or your brother or your cousin, they still handed you money and, um, you know, offered, you know, or requested your services. So I would say that is uh, a good feel for, um, you know, the fact that you're not horrible, uh, cause I feel as if people would have just 
either gone with somebody else or asked you to do it for free. Um, so this is what I'm going to say. My first question to you, I'm assuming you have a camera because I'm going to assume that that's probably the first thing a photographer will buy. However, have you uh, invested any money in classes, photography classes? Um, have you invested any money in some sort of a mentor, somebody who you admire, um, somebody who you can maybe get some pointers from, maybe somebody who would let you hang around them for a photo shoot once or twice where you could just kind of observe, maybe even help. Um, YouTube tutorials, uh, there's so much stuff online as far as getting more insight as to how you can work lighting angles. This is what I'm going to say. There comes a point in every person's life where you have to make a choice and then you have to commit. So I don't know you personally, but this is the advice that I would tell you if I saw potential. First, commit. Instead of starting out a paragraph saying, I am a photographer, well, not really, I say I'm a photographer, change your language to, I am a photographer. That right there gives you confidence. You are a photographer, okay? Period. That's it. You are a photographer. Now, next, once you're fully committed to being a photographer, now you have to do what a photographer would do. They would invest money in becoming better. They would invest all their time into becoming better. So I'm assuming you have another job because it sounds as if you need to sustain. It sounds like you don't live at home um, with your parents. So you need to figure out time on the weekends. So maybe stop going out on the weekends. Maybe stop blowing money on cigarettes and alcohol and eating out. You need to somehow find time and find money to invest in classes, webinars, and get some sort of a mentor around your area who you can convince to let you either help them, right? Be like their caddy if you were golfing and do their lights, set up their lights, be their, like basically their, you know, don't ask for any money. You will just help them move their stuff, help them set up. Um, I know there's a lot that goes into that stuff. And um, I'm sure that they would definitely love some assistance, especially if it's free assistance. And then see, you know, pay attention to what they're doing. What kind of camera do they use? What kind of lens they use? How do they angle the people? How do they do their lighting? How do they talk to the people? Um, you know, and then you also have to find out a, uh, would it be considered a genre? I don't know. But are you nature? Are you uh, cities? Are you uh, art? Are you people? What do you like to take pictures of, right? You need to have an angle, something where people see your stuff and are, or, or go to your page and already know what they're going to get, right? They know they're going to get beautiful nature footage. They know they're going to get beautiful families or pregnancies or kids. They know they're going to get beautiful um, uh, city city landscapes or beautiful, um, I've seen recently, um, what is that called, where people, graffiti. Just recently on Facebook, I saw a crap load of beautiful close-ups and faraways of people, like hipster type people or no people, just literally taking pictures of graffiti. Now, I didn't really go to their page to see if that's consistent or what that was, but it's good to have um, a actual idea of what energizes you and what you are passionate for as far as what you like to take pictures of and then stay on that lane.
specialize in that lane and become really, really good at, at taking pictures of lizards, right? Whatever it is, be the best person at taking pictures of lizards. And then every single person who loves lizards, which there's probably a ton of them, will know to come to your page because you are the best person to go to if they have a lizard or if they want pictures of lizards or reptiles or whatever it is. Like I said, there's a million different things, you know, pictures of forests, pictures of mountains, pictures of landscapes, pictures of animals. There's people that specialize in just taking family pictures of the family pets, but you have to, you can't just, it's not just, I'm a photographer, right? Once you have that down and you're committed to that now, what is your path? What do you take pictures of? What excites you and what gets you passionate? That will be your branding. And that will be what you need to start focusing on and becoming really, really, really good at, right? So what drives you? Not what you were interested in last year, not what you were interested in 10 years ago when you first started. It's going to change right this second, right now. What are you interested in taking pictures of and go that route? Because that's what is exciting you right now. Now, can you change in three years and decide I don't want to take pictures of graffiti anymore. Now I want to take pictures of, you know, people black and white. A hundred percent. You can do whatever you want, but you got to stay somewhat, right? Some people only do weddings. Um, gorgeous, beautiful family type people. They take pictures of people in celebrations and they, they catch the lighting perfectly. Whatever it is, find your thing. Now that doesn't mean you can't sometimes go off, right? If you decide you only want to take pictures of nature and then somebody hires you to do their wedding, obviously you can still do their wedding, but you have to have some sort of a, um, you know, what people are expecting when they go to your page. And then the, you know, the other thing would be once you figure out your, your angle, right? then you need to figure out <clears throat> how to actually market yourself and how to get that out there. And that is all based on social media, right? It's all based on networking. Um, come up with some sort of, whether you just do it all on Instagram or do it all on Facebook or open up a uh, website, you have to have something that you can feed out into the public, whether it's word of mouth, handing people business cards, um, swapping social media type stuff, or, um, you know, just pushing it out through, you know, ads on Facebook or ads on Twitter or whatever it is, but, you know, have some consistency, get a bunch of stuff up online that shows your true color, what you're capable of right now, start pushing that out into your world. And then while you're working that angle, continue your education. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. Continue reading continue getting better, continue finding new lighting, continue investing, continue taking classes. It's never ending. You need to re-spark your passion, re-energize yourself, get freaking excited about your future, get excited about the fact that you committed to being a photographer, get excited about the fact that you're now going to, you know, take that extra money from eating out or long weekends or smoking or drinking or whatever it is. And you're going to start investing in yourself and your business while working your job, right? And commit to that and get excited about that. So I'm not going to say, you know, you asked, how do I know that the passion you say is it's deep within me is just a dream and not something I should actually be pursuing. I'm going to say it's not a dream. I am going to say that you took the time to send this message to me. Your first, your first little sentence is, I am a photographer. And then you doubted yourself and you said, well, not really. I say I am a photographer. But the very first words you decided to type out is, I am a photographer. That is your passion and that is what you're supposed to be doing. But you need to find the passion within yourself 
You need to sell yourself. You need to be committed yourself. Stop looking to other people. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Find your own niche. Find your own angle. Find your own path. Be better. Be more charismatic. Be happier. Be funnier. Be be better. Just be better than you are today. Wake up tomorrow and be better. And then wake up the next day and be better. And wake up in a month and be better. Continue to pursue, continue to stay excited, continue to find different things in your area that you can take pictures of, whatever it is, whatever your thing is. So that's what I'm closing up with. Honestly, I am excited for you. I feel as if you already knew the answer. I feel as if you just needed someone to push you just a little bit. I always say you have to write it down. So you open up a notepad. You're going to write, I am a photographer at the top. Next, what is what are you passionate about taking pictures of right now? Right this second, what are you most excited about taking pictures of? Number three, places you can go, whatever it is, come up with a plan on how to get pictures. You need 25, 50 pictures right now of whatever it is. People, nature, dogs, lizards, graffiti, art, statues, bugs, whatever it is. I don't know what your thing is. Get them up on social media so people can see them. A website, Instagram. I would just start with Instagram because a website will take time. Don't, don't. Don't procrastinate this. This is exciting right now. Get your Instagram cleared out with whatever bullshit's on it or open up another Instagram. Put all the pictures on there and then push it push it out there. Start liking people, start tagging, start pushing people to your Instagram, your Facebook, wherever you're doing it. Get business cards, talk about it within your community and be excited about it, be happy about it. Be confident in yourself and continue to educate yourself. So once you get your pictures, get them up, which you can do literally within two weeks, then start doing research online of places you can go to get more information, to get more training, classes you can take. They're everywhere. Mentors you can follow, other photographers that in your area, call them up, see if they need a freaking intern on the weekends. You probably don't work on the weekends. I'm assuming most people have a nine to five. I don't want to assume. But most photographers, I'm sure, work odd hours because they're doing things when people are not at work, right? They're taking pictures of people. They're taking pictures of weddings. Usually it's weekend work. So your normal job, go to, and then instead of going out, you know, with your friends and spending a bunch of money on the weekends, work for free on the weekends with somebody who can teach you some stuff, teach you how to talk, teach you how to interact, teach you how to use lighting, things that you may not already know, things that you may have, you know, have known, but then you forgot and it'll be a good reminder. Okay. So those are your first steps right there. Accomplish those steps. You should get them done within 30 days, all of it for sure, or less 30 days and get back to me. All right. Thanks so much for joining me here at Nation of Diamonds. I was your host, Sabrina Victoria. Be sure to follow me here on SoundCloud and check out all of my other social media under sabrinavictoria.com. Always healthy, passion-filled content here. I am here to support you in your dreams. Please feel free to reach out to me anytime. I am always willing to hear and guide you to your passion. Do something awesome today. Much love. Thanks for listening. For more awesome spoonfuls of things only Sabrina can get away with saying, visit SabrinaVictoria.com. And this is a reminder to follow Sabrina Victoria on Facebook for posts straight to your wall as soon as they happen.